Now that I've shown you how to do a bore alignment using the L706 and the 111, uh, so we can get right down to four decimal places on, on our alignment. Now we'll talk about the L708 laser. This laser we can install right in the bore. We can put this right in the bore and just simply steer this from one bore to the following bore, steer it right to zero. This is, goes into the self-centering adapter, in this case the, the A514A adapter. And it'll be self-centered to approximately a thousandth of an inch. So this is held into the adapter magnetically. Okay, now I want to point out also these adapters, we have offset legs. We have offset legs. We want the the, the legs that are farthest ahead of the laser in the on the top, the ones closest to the laser on the bottom. So when I place this in the adapter, it's held in magnetically. When I put this in the adapter, and I want this level the t on the top, I want that in line with right between these two legs, right between the, the legs that are farthest forward. This also has, we have course adjustments on this, course adjustments for vertical, course adjustments for horizontal, and fine adjustments. The large knobs are course adjust, the smaller knobs are fine adjust. Before I start, we have this, basically I call it a gauge, that this is gonna slide underneath the here, and we're gonna tighten these fine adjustments up not torque them, just bring it up so it touches and, and it's holding the gauge in place. Then we can adjust these coarse adjustments until this white dot is in the center of this opening here. What that does, it gives us equal adjustments both ways on all of the, the adjusters. So we have, a, we have a, a, equal adjustments up and equal adjustments down on the vertical, equal adjustments side to side with the horizontal. This is battery operated, just like the L706. It has a continuous mode and a pulse mode. When we have this in the adapter, we simply put it into the bore and tilt it back. The weight of the laser will hold it into the bore. If you have a narrow bore such as this, we're not gonna be able to get the target into this bore and measure this bore. So, you have to rely on where this is at in the center, just basically figure that it's zero. If you have a longer bore, no problem. If you need to measure this bore, then you'll need to mount the 708 in the 111 stand. We do make an adapter that we can put in the 111 stand and adapt that stand to the 708 laser. Okay, down to the target. We put the target into the target adapter. Again, sliding it through there and aligning the dowel pin to the notch. The handle on, and I can insert this into the bore. Okay, I'm gonna turn the laser on. I'm gonna plug it in and turn it on. Then I'll put it on pulse. Now the laser beam is set up to going into the target. Plug the target into the readout. And turn the readout on. Now I'm getting numbers. Because the laser's in the center of this bore, very close to the center, this target is the target is in the center of the bore. Using the course adjustments and the fine adjustments, I'm just gonna steer this beam until that is zero. Now I mentioned that this is actually within uh, about a thousandth of an inch being in center, but I'm in four decimal places, so I'm gonna have minimal error. But now I'm bucked in. The laser's coming out of the center of this bore, it's passing through the center of this bore. Now I can measure the bore is in, in between. And I can see this bore is approximately 12 thousandths low and three and a half thousandths to the left. I would just simply make the adjustments. That's how much easier it is with the 708.